just for those who were not present in the morning so we were discussing actually quantum mechanical treatment of hyperfine structure we will use some quantum mechanical concepts along with the classical ones and derive an expression for quantum this uh, hyperfine uh, splitting or the hyperfine interaction energy what is the energy shift because of the hyperfine interactions just like we did it in case of fine structure when we derived the expression for the fine structure of a hydrogen atom or simply the fine structure so we treated that uh, there is an orbital motion of the electron and there is a spin angular momentum of the nucleus and due to this orbital motion of electron which is charged particle there will be an electric field which will be experienced by the nucleus and that electric field will be given by this expression e is equal to minus grade phi that is minus del phi where phi is in potential due to electronic charge this is a potential due to electronic charge at a distance r from the electron so that means at a nucleus for example the distance from the electron to the nucleus is r and this phi is equal to minus e by 4 pi epsilon naught r okay so therefore it gives us e is equal to minus del of minus into minus is plus uh, uh, i think it is minus because there is a differentiation than this so it becomes minus e divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r cube and this is r because it is r square actually in the denominator so r square i have taken it a vector r multiplied by r here okay to get the direction unit vector so that is how we, it is actually this r is equal to mod r sorry r divided by r unit vector r to get the direction this is just what the electric field will be at distance r from the electron similarly in case of this in a uh, there is a charged particle which is continuously moving and due to this movement and the motion of the electron there will be a magnetic field and that magnetic field in terms of the electric field e is given by e cross v by c square and this v is the velocity with which the electron is moving and c is the speed of that light this is the expression to just compromise for the units if you put up the value of e here this it is minus e upon c square r cube it is r cross v divided by r is here v is here so these two will be cross product this r and this v that is here r cross v and it gives us b will be equal to minus e divided by m naught c square r cube I will write it as L by 4 pi epsilon naught because I have used L is equal to R cross P, which is R cross MV. M is in a constant factor, it is a scalar quantity, so it is R cross V. And if you calculate L by M, that is equal to R cross V, and M is the mass of the electron, test mass of the electron. That is here. So L by M naught is R cross V. You drop this R cross V. Now, this is the magnetic field and due to this magnetic field, the interaction, the interaction energy or the energy stored or the energy which will be experienced by the nucleus or the perturbation which will be experienced by the nucleus will be determined by introducing an energy term which will be a perturbation energy actually. So that will be a perturbation term. And that that yeah, repeat sir. So there is a, a magnetic field, for example, if this is a nucleus, so there is a magnetic field which will be created because of the electron. And that magnetic field has an interaction with the magnetic moment of the spin, uh, this uh, nucleus. So if we have a magnetic moment of the nucleus mu i, and we have a magnetic field because of the electron, then the interaction energy term, interaction energy between this magnetic moment and the magnetic field, okay? That will be a perturbation term. Because of this interaction, there will be a perturbation. And that perturbation will be introduced by Hamiltonian, which will be let, I will write it as I L. Okay? Orbital motion of the electron. Or simply let it be H1. 
let it be h1 and it is equal to not necessary here you can keep this h1 subscript this h1 here h1 be equal to minus mu i dot b have you seen this expression interact this is a magnetic potential energy actually yes, energy stored in a system under the magnetic yes, field so i can write h1 will be equal to minus e by m naught c square r cube mu i dot l divided by 4 pi epsilon naught just putting up the value of this b here so there's a mu i dot b instead of b there we have l because of the orbital angular moment okay. so that l is there here it is or i can write it as e by m naught square r cube mu i dot l and let it be minus the change in energy value due to this interaction is perturbation that it be delta e1 how we calculate the energy value because of this some perturbation eigen value so this can be written as psi star m naught c square r cube and mu i i will drop a bar here to represent that minus sign actually because of the opposite direction it is because of the direction that it is my negative l psi d tau or i can write it as epsilon naught and there is 4 pi epsilon naught m naught c square r cube mu i dot I star M not C square. I can write it as mu I. This will be one by is it okay? Do you understand? These are the two terms which need to be evaluated actually. The expectation value, it is just like this. There is an, actually it is an R dependent function, R and theta, whatever it is. Uh, the quantum states you can write it as n particular nl and there is an one by r cube this similarly like this in the brand cat notation so you need to yes, put up the values of the expectation values of these two and if you see here one by this r cube this is the radial part of the wave function So it depends upon the radial part, where this L, it depends on angle coordinates because it's an orbital motion. So it depends on angle coordinates. We also know that L 
it precises about j normal precision thomas precision sorry so there is a thomas precision actually of the j due to the interaction and the torque torque which will be exerted by spin and orbital motion that is that spin orbit interaction spin motion of the electron orbital motion of the electron so there will be a magnetic field that interaction will be there which will create a torque and it will precess around that j then we can write l in terms of j the average value of l in terms of j is written as i hope that you might have done this ex and i can written as as this is the average value of the in terms of j it is j square into j i will multiply j and j to keep the direction of that l actually the j and j is multiplied here multiplied and divided if we use this value in our expression our delta e1 will be equal to there will be mu i what is mu i i have already written it here i have already written mu i i think yes it is here so e by to m into g yeah. i okay that i will put up here just take this in the quantum mechanics i think i you have done it this if not so angular momentum every expectation value of l so delta e1 is equal to e divided by m not c square e by 2 mp into gi it is 1 by r cube i will write there is i which comes from this mu i this i and i can write here jl upon j and there is j here this is square and we have 1 by 4 pi epsilon not Sir, minus sign B. I think I have minus incorporated in that mu direction. Okay, sir. Okay, I have that include incorporated in this here. Yes, sir, mu. So we can write it as it is e by two m not m p. C square, G I, one by R Q, J dot L upon J square, I dot J. The interaction between I and J. I will be from spin and J will be from electron. This here, yeah. This is I. This is J. and yeah this is j here this is i dot j so we have 1 by 4 pi epsilon so i can write it as 2 m not mp this is gi divided by c square gi by c square i can write it as i dot j divided by j square yes you can we can write j if you know that j is l plus s so it is j dot l sorry l j equal to l plus s uh, it is l dot l plus s dot l and we can have 1 by r q into this if you are ignoring the spin interaction with the or spin orbit interaction here this then this s dot l you can take zero if you are ignoring but if you not ignoring then the x, this is the expression now you need the value of this 1 by r cube and we will put up it at the end 
so this is one part when we can see ai is thinking nahi kar raha hai ab ye bhi to operator se hai uh i actually in j i or j jo i hai ab ye keh raha i dot j this ye hai na iski baat kar raha hai ye sir yeah it is here i have kept it there i have not operated solved it yet it will be a constant actually because the value is very small i dot j is very small and it remains conserved with respect to time i dot j that's why we have taken it out i dot j by j square this interaction between i and j is very small and such that it remains conserved or the constant during the with respect to time that's why it has taken been Uh, taken as a constant so this is the case of interaction when we only consider that orbital motion and the spin of the nucleus now what happens when you include the interaction between the spin of the electron and the spin of the nucleus we have two magnetic moments from the electron one is spin of the electron and the orbital motion of the electron so these two will interact with the magnetic moment of the nucleus that is i so we have l dot i and s dot i i is actually the spin moment of the nucleus and we have two dipoles now so i can write here interaction with electron spin moment so there are two magnetic moments magnetic moments one is mu i and one will be mu s this will be for the nucleus this will be for electron and they interact so when they interact there will be an interaction and the hamiltonian will be or the energy term due to the interaction of let it be h2 due to two dipoles two dipole moments how we write i hope you might have seen it electrodynamics एक्सप्रेशन कहीं देखिए इफ यू हैव टू डायपोल मोमेंट्स पी वन एंड पी टू देन एनर्जी बिटवीन एनर्जी ऑफ इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन द टू डायपोल मोमेंट्स दैट इज सिंपली दिस पी वन पी टू माइनस थ्री पी वन पी डॉट आर पी टू डॉट आर डिवाइड बाय आर फाइव दिस इज द इंटरेक्शन द एनर्जी ऑफ इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन द टू डायपोल मोमेंट्स यू हैव डन इट इन इलेक्ट्रोडायनेमिक्स एज वेल सो इट इज अ इलेक्ट्रोडायनेमिक कांसेप्ट इलेक्ट्रो क्लासिकल इलेक्ट्रोडायनेमिक्स two dipole moments so we have a two dipole moments here spin and spin the nuclear magnetic spin and the electron spin so the two dipoles are interacting with each other the energy of interaction between them is given by this expression iska iska when mu not is permeability of free space we all know this i can write then h2 will be equal to mu1 dot mu i dot mu s divided by r q minus 3 of mu i dot r mu s dot r this is to convert it into sims this is just for the unit conversion this 1 by 4 by epsilon not c square 1 by we are multiplying it r i can write you can keep the same expression this one there is no issue you can keep this one as well which is just a constant factor 
so h2 will be equal to because the separation distances are between them so interaction energy will be given by delta e2 so can you do it R5 What you need actually here you need the expectation values of some quantities divided by R cube minus 3 mu i dot r mu s dot r r5 this so take separately these terms this this it is mu i dot mu s minus e square by 2 mp m not gi i dot s divided by r cube just see this expression what i have done I have taken M S equal to mu S equal to M S H cut. Are in terms of both that E by two M. And similarly, mu I dot mu S. Or I can write it as simply. This can be written as e square by 2m. This is gi. I can write 1 by r cube i dot s. Expectation of 1 by r cube. Expectation of i dot s. It is minus e square by 2 mp m not gi like we have l dot j. I dot s will be equal to just j dot s divided by j square, like we have done it for case of L. The expectation value of I dot s. So I will be there, and I have taken the expectation value of s. 
divided by j square into j. This is one term. There's another term which is mu i dot r mu s dot r divided by r pi in the expression this we have written expression for this and we need now this for this expression this term if we write it as it is minus e square by again 2m sorry not this 2m it's 2mp m not gi it is i dot r and s dot r mu i will be from the i and mu s will be from the spin here it is s and i Also, I can write i dot r is i dot j dot r divided by j. So I will be there instead of dot r, I will write in terms of j. J, it is j square and there should be then j here i think j dot r yes yes so it is okay now how will we write we will use these values in the expression So H2 will be equal to, or delta E2, sorry. We can write delta E2. E square by 2 MP, C square M naught, GI. Now see here, what I am writing. I will be writing the values of mu I mu S divided by R cube and then another term. So that is of this value and this here in this expression. Yes. So it will become gi into i dot j divided by j square. It will be common this all. j dot s divided by r cube plus 3 it is j dot r s dot r Epsilon naught, C square is here. Just see the equations actually once again. If you can see. What I have done, I have taken this term common. And <clears throat> this minus J dot S from mu i dot mu s divided by r cube this here it is j dot s yes here it is and then i this j this j is here i dot j sir a gaya okay yes, sir. okay Now, R is actually the distance between the nuclear spin and the 
that spin moment is two magnetic moments. But remember that this R, the distance, this vector, it will precise around the total angular moment of the electron because the torque produced that uh, torque because of the momentum of the electron, the magnetic moment of the electron, that field will pre uh, assume a torque on that, uh, this nuclear magnetic moment or spin dipole moment of the nucleus, it will precise. So we can write then this term I dot R. So we have used this actually, sorry, we have used this value. We don't need to write it again. So I can write this expression again here, E square by two, M P M naught C square. It is a, and into G I, it is I dot J divided by J square. There is minus, it is L plus S dot S instead of J here. Divided by RQ plus three, it is L plus S dot R. into s dot r here instead of j j will be replaced by l dot s l plus s divided by r5 here we have into 1 by 4 by epsilon naught i can again write it as e square by 2 m p m naught c square it g i I dot J divided by J square minus L dot S divided by R square minus S square divided by R square. S dot S is R square, R cube, not square, it's cube, sorry. Oops. So, and it is plus three S dot R S dot R divided by R5, just see this expression. Because there, when you expand these two terms. Sir, L dot R, where is If you multiply it, it is L dot R into S dot R. First plus S dot R into S dot R. E square by 2MP, C square, I'm not GI. I dot J divided by J square, yeah, okay, it is okay. L dot S divided by R cube. Uh, minus s square by rq plus 3 s dot r into s dot r so see here this becomes e square this term is okay now what happens actually here is uh, this l dot r this l plus s dot r this becomes actually uh, l dot r uh, l dot r plus s dot r here it is l dot r plus s dot r this and this l dot r is actually interaction between the orbital motion of the electron and the spin mag this nucleus this is r this is l here here will be the direction of l perpendicular to the plane of the orbit and because this is the interaction orbital motion we are ignoring this because we have already treated that separately so that l dot r term will be equal to zero here what we are left with s dot r into s dot r this our l dot r term will be zero because we are concerned only about the spin magnetic moments and this takes part in the orbital motion of the electron with the nuclear spin that we have already done trips separately we are ignoring here that so that l dot r will be equal to zero and we can write then final this will be our expression then Also, this i dot j by j square is very small. The interaction between i dot j is very small. 
So when it is very small as compared to this J, this term remains constant almost. It remains conserved during with respect to time. That is why it is taken as a constant and outside that uh, average value. There is a important that result one slaughter result that is s dot q1 where q is an general any vector this s dot q2 and s is a spin operator this is actually equal to h cut square by 4 q1 dot q2 2 plus 1 by 2 i h cut q1 cross q2 you can see any quantum mechanics book for this. Like Griffith or Zetley or any other. And this cross is the cross product here. Now, if now Q1 is equal to Q2, which is equal to R, then what happens? Q1 cross Q2 will be equal to? zero because the distance between those two are actually same s1 dot r and s2 dot r it also gives us that s dot r whole square will be equal to h cut square by 4 r square which i can write 1 by 3 because you take s dot s right s is this but and s yes, is one by two using these values this and this here this expression. This is purely mathematical actually, I'm not doing anything new in this. And there's a typical quantum mechanics which you are using. Equation, the above equation becomes delta E2 MP Pi i dot j divided by j square this term remains this goes zero okay this S square is 3 by 4 h cut square and there is 3 here and there will be a, these values you need to put up these values here in this expression and use s square is 3 by 4 h cut square then you will find that our final result remains this. So these are the two different interactions which we have derived due to the two different contributions from orbital motion of the electron and the spin motion of the electron. Then interaction of orbital spin, orbital magnetic movement and the spin magnetic movement with the nuclear spin of that atom. And these two terms, if we want to find the total interaction, If we want to find total interaction, delta E will be equal to delta E1 plus delta E2. This will be the total interaction. And if we add these terms, I will write delta E1, what delta E1 is actually. Sorry. I will write here what delta E1 will be equal to. It is equal to actually E square by 2 m mp actually here it is m dot c square gi i dot j divided by j square 
l dot l plus s dot l this is what we obtained because due to the orbital motion of the electron and this is simply equal to l square and delta e2 is this Here's a delta E2, I can write here. So delta E using this expression, and if it is A and it is B, so use A and B here. What we will get? We will get delta E will be equal to E square by two MP M naught C square GI. It is almost common in both the terms, divided by J square. This L dot S, L dot S, okay. This L dot L will be L square, and I can write then it is L square. Average value of one by R Q. Do you remember? Do you know why? Because this L dot S term and this L dot S term is same. Here, we are left with this one with the only l dot l term because this l dot s and this l dot l with s will cancel out so this is a total interaction now if you want to find the exact expression for this this is still incomplete what the two factors which you need to further find is that it is one is i dot j what it will be another is one by r q now the total magnetic moment total angular momentum of the atom that is from the nucleus as well as from the electron the total angular momentum of atom is equal to i from the nucleus j from the electron j is l plus s and let it be equal to f so you know that like just you had done that for i j equal to l plus s here f is equal to i plus j so it is the algebra is same and we can write f dot f is equal to i plus j dot i plus j if you want to find here what will be it so if you find i dot j here that will be equal to f into f plus one minus i into i plus one minus j into j plus one into h cut square divided by two like you have l dot s that is j l into l plus one minus s into s plus one minus j into j plus one divided by two same it is like that and i have operated this i plus j dot i plus j is i plus i square plus j square minus this uh, i dot j yes sir yes plus two i dot j okay and then i have taken two i dot i dot j term on the left hand side and then rearranged the equation and we also know that this one by r q we have used this in case of fine structure the average value that is actually equal to z cube divided by a naught cube n cube l into l plus one by two into l plus one this we have also used earlier this term so when you put up these two equations in this equation here this values in this equation here and here You will find the final equation delta E will be equal to E square by 2 MP M naught C square. It is GI. It is L into L plus 1 divided by J into J plus 1. 1 by R cube. 
i dot j this value this term comes from square terms this this l square by j square l square will be l into l plus one into h cut square and j square will be equal to j into j plus one h cut square here and i can write here this e square now i can write e square h cut square divided by 2 m p m naught c square g i l into l plus 1 divided by j into j plus 1 here it is z cube divided by a naught cube and l n cube l into l plus 1 into l plus half and there is bracket then into value for sorry value for this i dot j f into f plus one minus j into j plus one minus l in i into i plus one and you can further write it as this is the simplest form we can write This gives energy separation between a hyperfine lines actually. This is the delta E, that interaction perturbation energy term. What will be the difference between those? Uh, what will be the energy between the two hyperfine lines actually? This expression. You can further solve it if you put up the values of A naught and A naught here. And we can write in terms of Redberg constant and the fine structure constant. So that is R alpha square Z cube CH N cube M naught divided by MP. This I have put up the value of in terms of uh, this Redberg constant and alpha fine structure constant. MP this GI 1 over J into J plus 1 into L plus half. If we say f into f plus one minus this whole term. Why I have put up this? It, it can be written as one by two a hyperfine structure term. And this a hyperfine structure term is given by This is the hyperfine structure coefficient. Like we have fine structure coefficient. You have a hyperfine structure, you have fine structure constant. If you want to term value, calculate the term value. What is term value? Term value is whatever it is, delta E divided by HC. Delta T. that you can put up and find the term value difference. What is the term value? That will be given by this expression. And in the final result, you will just multiply divide by HC from this. That HC from the numerator will cancel out with this HC. It will cancel out here. And you will be left with the final expression. If I will tell you that, find the difference between the two fine structure lines. How can you find? If this is one line, this is another line. So that will, if this is TF, this will be TF plus one. We have two lines. If it is one, this is second line. So this is two minus one. What will be the energy for the two line minus what will be the energy for the first line? That will give you this, uh, this uh, difference between the two levels. What is the splitting between the two levels? So that will be equal to 
टी एफ प्लस टी एफ माइनस वन एफ प्लस वन सॉरी दैट इज डेल्टा टी एफ माइनस डेल्टा टी एफ प्लस वन यू कैन कैलकुलेट द डिफरेंसेस ओके and just do it uh, find this term value i don't have anything more to tell you about this this is all we can we can do today but just try this at home at least and finish up this topic today